Today we're going to take a look at multi-level terminals in the 2D cabinet in C Electrical V8 R4. And when we want to create uh, terminals in the uh, 2D cabinet, they can be shown as just a terminal block. But if we need to display the levels, then the cabinet symbol needs designing slightly differently. To start with, I'm going to open a schematic page in C Electrical, and I'm going to go to the Symbols tab, Electrical and Automation Symbol Database, and scroll down to the Terminals Multi Layer folder. And I'm going to place the two multi level terminal symbol down in the page. When the properties uh, box pops up, I'm going to select plus one to make sure the product is x1. I'm then going to assign a type. This type here is just a multi level terminal. I'm just going to select OK. And then I'm going to set the level name to be T. And set OK. I'm going to double click on the second terminal now. And I'm going to set the level name to be B for this one. And set OK. I'm now just going to create a few more copies of both of these terminals. So now that I've got four. I'm now going to create a, a, a page in the Cabinets module. I'm right clicking on the Cabinets node and set a new page. So it's OK. In the information window. This page needs to be a 1 to 1 page. At the minute it's a 1 to 10 as we can see in the bottom right. So to change it, we can right click anywhere on the page, select page properties, go to scale and symbol scaling and set these both to one. And if a pop-up appears, we can just select OK. I'm now on a one-to-one -one page. So we can start to, uh, to design our multi-layer terminal symbol. So I'm going to go to the draw tab, set the rectangle command, I'm just going to left click once and then I'm going to hit the space bar on my keyboard. I'm going to set the X to be 5 and Y to be 80. And select OK. I'm just going to start designing some of the graphics um, for our multi level terminal. So I'm going to go to the draw tab, set the line command, and I'm just going to create levels. that. I'm then going to go down to a 2.5mm grid. Set the circle command. Draw a circle just one grid space wide. And I'm going to move that circle onto our, onto our symbol. And I'm just going to take copy of this circle to represent the different connections on, on the symbol. I now need to add in um, attributes. So to do this, we press Control T on the keyboard. In this text field at the top, we can type in X1. And we'll start with the product attribute. So in the drop down menu here, we can go to the components section. And we just need to make sure to double click on this. to make sure our text is big enough so I'm going to set my height to be 3 and make sure it's left justified in the advanced properties. Place this on uh, just above for um, my symbol. Then. For that I'm going to create another attribute for terminal number. So in the text field at the top I'm going to set this to be 1. And then I need to find terminal number in this list in the drop down menu. Double click and I'm going to place that on the drawing. I'll do the same now for terminal sorting. And place that. We also need to do with level name. Find the level name attribute, double click. And in the text window, I'm just going to change this to be B. And I can place this in this top section here. And also in the bottom section down here. I'm then going to do the top level name, which is T. 
is this in this bottom section here and in this top section here. And then the final attributes we need to add are the okay, level sorting. So again, using the drop down menu, we can find the level sorting attribute. And I'm going to type in two into the text window. Now, we can't hide the level sorting field after we created our symbol. So it's always going to be showing. So I'm just going to make the text a little bit smaller than this one. So I'm going to place this next to the B in the top section and next to the B in the bottom section. And then I'm going to type in 1 and, do the, uh, and add the level sorting in for the top sections here. Uh, and after that, that is it for the attributes. We can close that text window down. Now, multi-level terminals are blocked slightly differently to normal symbols. Um, we have to block the level name and the level sorting as blocks, and then we block the whole thing as a terminal. So, firstly, I'm just going to select the B and the 2 in this top section, and the B and the 2 in the bottom section, just by holding Control to multi-select. I'm then going to right click and select block, and I'm just going to block it as a block. I'm going to do the same for the T1 on either side. I like to all of it to block. Block it to block and select OK. So now we should have two blocks for level name and level sorting. And finally, we then block the whole symbol as a terminal. So I highlight everything, right click, block, as a terminal. And that's OK. Properties will pop up, that's OK. The final thing we need to do with the symbol is save it into a suitable symbol database. So in the symbols tab, find a suitable database. Having it symbols, we need to save it or drag it from the left hand side in the centre, and to do that we can use the snap to elements, get a little triangle running in the centre, and we can drag that over to a symbol folder. I'm just going to call that MLT, and select OK. Final thing we, uh, that I'm going to do is go to Functions, Functions tab at the top, Open Database, and I'm going to find the part number I want to use. Double click on it, scroll down to define channels, click within this field and you see three little dots appear. Go to the cabinets tab in here, and I'm now going to um, assign a symbol to this part number. So I'm going to click in the symbol field and click the three little dots, and I'm going to choose the symbol we've just saved. Make sure to double click. Then we can select OK on all the windows and close the database, just remembering to update the equipment definitions at the end. So now, if I go to Functions and then the Pick List, you can see we've got our four terminals here from our schematics. If I click on the top uh, terminal, hold Shift, click on the bottom to highlight all, I can then load in the terminal. Place it on the page, just close the pick list back down again, and you'll see that the terminals have come in. That's how we can handle multi level terminals uh, in the 2D cabinets.